As you learned in the previous lecture, functions can return a value, but a function often needs a specific information to perform its task. In addition to getting information from a function, you can also send information to a function to affect how that function works. Let's go back to the example of you and your pizza delivery. Your order pizza function is working well. You get your pizza each time you say order pizza to your pizza delivery. But where's the flexibility? What if sometime you want burger or sandwich instead of pizza? Because your current function only returns pizza. The function is limited. But what if you can give your pizza delivery a specific information whenever you said order pizza, you can then ask them to get you something else? In that case, your order pizza function is really flexible. You can get a sandwich, a burger, or french fries, for example. JavaScript functions can also accept information called arguments, which you pass to the function. To have a function accept an argument, you add what's called a parameter inside the parentheses when creating a function. The parameter works just like a variable. You can name it anything you want, but you need to follow the same rules when naming the parameter as you do when naming the variables. Inside your function, you can use the parameter just like any variable. So now this function is expecting information. Each time you call this function, you need to pass it the information, also called passing an argument to the function. Notice how much more flexible this function is. You can pass different values and get different results. To summarize, a function parameter represents a value that you supply to the function using an argument, so that the function could do something with that value. Now let's look at how to use a function parameter as well as an argument in the generate random number function we wrote from the previous lecture. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript Functions. And then open the index.html file using Google Chrome. Here I also open the JavaScript console. In the index.html file, remember to link lograndom.js file. As you can see in this lograndom.js file, the generate random number function only returns a value from 1 to 10. So the function is limited. What if you wanted to create a flexible random number generator that return a number from 1 to 10, 100, 200, or 1000 even? You can make this random number function more flexible by accepting a value that sets the upper limit of each random number. To make that happen, first, let's add a parameter named max number inside the parentheses. Keep in mind that function parameters like the word max number have no particular meaning to JavaScript. Max number is just a parameter name I came up with to represent the maximum limit of the random number. And it's gonna hold a value that passed to the function when it's called. And now we can use the parameter max number within the function. So currently, the function returns a number from 1 to 10. To use the value of the parameter, we can just replace the number 10 with the parameter name max number. Now the generate random number function expects you to pass information each time you call it. Again, when you pass information to a function, it's called passing an argument to the function. You can generate all kinds of random numbers now by calling this function and passing an argument, or passing the maximum limit of the random number. Let's pass it 10. I'll wrap this function call with a console.log. So that I can see the random number in the JavaScript console. Let's call it a few more times so that we can see several different random numbers. I'll pass this one, the number 200, 10,000, and 50. I'll save the chains, refresh the page. In the console, we get four random numbers. If I refresh the page, you'll get new random numbers. Good. To summarize, parameters are like variables that you defined in the function definition, like max number. And arguments are the values you pass to the function when you call it. 